Hey gamers, I'm Naya and this is SuperMultiverse.com's review of Street Fighter 6. Capcom's 2016 launch of Street Fighter 5 missed out on a plethora of much desired features, but luckily Capcom added on to the game in amazing ways throughout the next few months after its initial launch. 2023 Street Fighter 6 though packs a punch and then some straight out of the gate. There's just so much to do in this game other than the classic one-on-one -on -one arcade battles we're accustomed to and this is a step towards a better direction for Capcom and future Street Fighter titles. The classic modes are all here from arcade to versus modes, a training room with tons of options and a detailed tutorial which explains the bread and butter of the game's mechanics. A new and welcome addition to Street Fighter is World Tour, which is a single player game mode that allows you to create your very own Street Fighter and thrust them into a large world of other ready for battle combatants. World Tour, for all intents and purposes, is an open world mode which looks and feels like the Yakuza series from Sega. This is something we've personally been wanting from the Street Fighter series for quite some time as we've grown a bit tired of the usual arcade and versus fight modes. In World Tour, you'll explore the city, level up your character, customize your attires, and educate yourself on fighting styles from the series' classic fighters. The mode does feature side quests with outlandish cutscenes, enjoyable dialogue, and even tutorial segments. The control scheme does feature a modern control scheme for beginners, which is easy to master, but the classic six button system is also available and allows players to initiate special moves at a faster pace. The game even features esports type commentary and one of the commentators just so happens to be WWE superstar Selena Vega, which is pretty cool. The commentary, although robotic at times, does add intensity and excitement to each battle. Street Fighter VI also adds moves known as Drive Impact and Drive Parries, which allow any character to bust through the attacks of their ops. These moves pack a pizzazz and power which are quite beautiful to experience. The online modes work wonderfully straight out of its initial release phase. Matches are remarkably stable against competitors on the other side of the world, but there will still be some lag and glitchiness from time to time. Still doesn't stop online mode from being awesome. Once you've completed campaign, have gotten tired of playing against AI or even against your friend or family members, the online mode will be the true determining factor behind replay value for this game as challenging a never-ending sea of talented competitors from all over the world will keep you coming back to test your skill day after day. The Street Fighter series has been around for over 30 years and it finally seems as if Capcom has reinvented the series in a way where it becomes more accessible and appealing to players outside of the fighting genre. The graphics are top-notch and the action is superb and the game overall is a winner. Street Fighter 6 gets a 9 out of a possible 10 rating from supermultiverse.com and is available now on PS5, PS4, Xbox, Arcade, and Windows. That was SuperMultiverse.com's review of Street Fighter 6. For all the latest gaming reviews, be sure to check us out at SuperMultiverse.com. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please be sure to follow us on Twitter at SuperMultiverse, on Instagram at TheSuperMultiverse, and on TikTok at SuperMulti.verse. See y'all next time. Bye!